All right. So the next topic we want to look at is alternating series. Um, so the definition is here. An alternating series is a series of one of the following forms. So we have these ANs are still kind of positive. So you still start with the positive sequence like usual. Um, but you put this sign factor in front, right? So minus 1 to the n, right, that alternates sign. If, it's, if n is even, this is plus 1. If n is odd, that's minus 1. Swaps back and forth in sign. So this is how you, you see the terms, right? So this is going to be, you know, this would be like minus a1 plus a2 minus a3 plus a4 and so on, right? So the sign changes. Um, if you want the first term to be positive, then you do minus 1 to the n plus 1, right? So either way, we consider it an alternating series. Whether the first term is positive or negative doesn't matter. What matters is that the sign alternates between positive and negative, OK? Um, now, the surprising thing is that for alternating series, right, we, we know that this condition here, on its own, this condition is not sufficient for convergence, right? We've seen this. We've seen that the series, sum of n going from 1 to infinity, 1 over n, this diverges. All right, this is the harmonic series. Okay? Harmonic series diverges. It's a p series with p is equal to 1. There are other ways to prove it, but this you know, integral test does it. Um, but there are direct proofs as well. That is a div divergent series despite the fact that the terms go to zero, OK? Uh, but nonetheless, if we have a sequence where the ANs are positive, right? So this, uh, oh, let's be careful. Ha, ha, ha. I forgot the minus 1. All right, hope you weren't watching the video and turned it off before we got to that correction. OK, we need the minus 1 to the n in there. Minus 1 to the n times a n. It needs to be an alternating series, right? So the ANs are positive, so that this becomes alternating. Um, for an alternating series, as long as the ANs are positive and they're decreasing, then it turns out it is good enough to have the ANs go to zero, right? So this harmonic series diverges, but the alternating harmonic series, n going from 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 over n, that converges, right? Um, happens to converge, in fact, to the natural log of 2, if you can believe it, right? Um, so we'll, we'll encounter this a number of times, right, where the alternating series will converge, but the corresponding non-alternating series, if you drop the sign factor and you just look at the sum of the ANs without the minus 1 to the n in front, um, right, without that minus 1 to the n, uh, that series may very well diverge, but you simply put this alternating sign in there and suddenly the series converges, um, which is kind of interesting. And the idea is that you sort of, if you're looking at the partial sums, you sort of, you know, you start with, let's say A1 is positive, right? So you start at like here's zero, right? And, and you add A1. So you're kind of out here. Here's A1, right? And now you subtract A2. But when you subtract a2, you know, you get to a2 is less than a1. So we don't make it all the way back to here. Maybe we make it to here, right? And there's a1 minus a2. And then we add on a3. So we get a bit bigger, right? Um, a1 minus a2 plus a3, right? I mean, maybe we go even further. But you know, A3 is less than A2, so we don't make it past where we were before, right? We make it out to there or maybe out to there. And then we subtract, and we get a bit smaller. And so you kind of, you're moving back and forth, back and forth, but the amount that you're adding or subtracting is getting smaller every time, right? And so if you look at the partial sums when n is odd, in this scenario here, the partial sums when n is odd, you know, they start big, but they get smaller. So you have, a, you have a decreasing sequence that's bounded below by zero, right? Um, and if you look at the even terms, you have an increasing sequence that's bounded above, say, by a1, right? 
So you've got two bounded monotone sequences. You know that they have to converge. And the main thing is showing that they converge to the same limit. Um, once you've established that, you would get this theorem. Okay. So we'll look at a few examples. We'll see how the alternating series test applies. And then we're going to come back to this question of you know, convergence of the alternating series versus the corresponding non-alternating series. This gets us to absolute convergence. So absolute convergence is, well, what happens if you take the absolute value, drop the minus sign? Do you still have convergence or not, right? Um, that's going to be an important question. Um, the other thing that we, we don't have time to talk about is an interesting thing, but it's beyond the scope of a calculus course. Um, turns out that in cases where the alternating series converges, but the non-alternating series doesn't, this is referred to as conditional convergence. Um, and it turns out that conditional convergence is sort of a, it's a fragile thing. Um, it depends on the order in which you write down the terms, which is kind of an odd thing to think about, but it sort of comes to playing around with, you know, if you added a whole bunch of the positive terms and then some of the negative and then a bunch more of the positive and then some of the negative ones, um, there's a surprising thing. It's an interesting theorem that one can prove. It's a very difficult theorem, but it can be done. Um, once you have an alternating series, you can rearrange the order in which the terms appear um, to get any real number you want, which is bizarre, right? For, for a term, for a series with only positive terms, you get a limit and that limit is unique. There's only one possible value. But for alternating series, just changing the order around gets you different answers. It's bizarre. It's a strange thing. Um, beyond, beyond what we can talk about in a calculus course, but if you go on and you take a course in, let's say, real analysis, uh, you might get to play with some of these ideas.